Hello everyone and welcome back to Addressable System Test 12 and we're going to be featuring our new addition to the system quite actually a big one um, but it will mean that you know get a lot more flexibility with the house a lot more coverage uh, especially to downstairs as well because wired things downstairs don't really work too well nothing's really changed on the actual fire alarm control board itself um, though I will be redoing some of the you know cabling because it's a bit bit messy um but that'll get retidy with actual conduit so yeah and the uh Soteria that was here has got swapped out to a discovery because the Soteria is back in the house we'll get on to why that is the case um but the devices down there are exactly the same well down here and we've got the usual box just over there uh, let's have a look at the devices in the house. So next addition is the Soteria back in the hallway again. Um, obviously kept the theme of having the smoke alarms as well with it. Um, yeah, back in here use the original holes. I mean, I would prefer if I actually mounted it basically in line with this. Uh, next thing we've got so everything in here is the same in terms of my room um, but we've got this new addition here um, which is the optical basically in the pc area or well basically mounted above the pc so this was a um a coaxial cable point um but i've replaced that on basically one of the legs of the loop well it's basically a spur from the bathroom because this is where this cable from here runs to um to connect to an outdoor satellite um, but obviously I repurpose that because, to be honest, satellite is, you know, and coaxial is, you know, it's just an XP95 one. Um, I do tend to have XP95 devices in here so that pulling isn't annoying, although I can easily disable the pulling, but, you know, just make sure that they don't end up pulling. So I just put XP95 in here. Um, uh, this is a dress 9, as you may be able to tell. Um, yeah, that's just a flex out the plate so I can actually connect the coaxial into the flex and yeah, works quite well actually. A um, little bit overkill as some people may say, um, but I will probably mean that I'll add a cool point probably adjacent to the door at some point, um, but that's a maybe though. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, I'm not going to be bringing the ladder down, but there's also a discovery now mounted in the loft. Now actually properly put in the centre of the loft. You can see why most of the system in FP. Um, there are still parts of the system though. Well, still a lot of it is still the cable, but a lot of it now is wired in the FP. Especially with the new stuff I'm putting up. So, you can see if these cables are exposed, I will be putting them in, in FP. Um, but this is not a system installed up to regs and stuff, so obviously not all of it necessarily has to be. Right, so the first device I am considering of testing is the one underneath the desk. So let's just get this out of the way. And let's just point it towards the detector. So I haven't programmed the sensitivity of this, but I am going to do it after this video. Um, this one, I you know, set as sensitive as possibly can for obvious reasons. But I think because it's right next to the computer, it's not going to be a major issue based off the sensitivity. So let's just smoke it a bit. And I'll get put the camera towards the LED as well so you can see that a bit clearer. Okay. There we go, lights on. Sync isn't exactly brilliant. But the sound level, even with that hidden over there, is acceptable. But many people would think it's coming from the echo. It's actually there. 
but this door's mainly kept shut because of the dog, so. Gives good sound coverage. Right, and that's that. Um, oh, oh, that label. It fell off because it wasn't sticky enough. But it's just I'm not sure what sensitivity it is at the moment or what level it is. Let's just have a look. It's already back down, so I'm just gonna reset that. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test this uh, newly installed detector. Um, so basically it's back next to the smoke alarm only because I still want the smoke alarm to be around not relying on just my system. That's for obvious reasons really because obviously not having any you know you do need smoke alarms as backup so although preferably I don't like having two sensors up here but you know, just have to do it anyway, so. And I don't want to make any new holes in remount detectors because my parents won't be happy with that. So let's just spray that one. Uh, this is in mode three. I have not programmed this actually. All I did was just add the devices on to the correct sensitivity. So this will take its time. Quite loud. This is also peeling off. I'm gonna have to put stick that behind me. And finally, we're gonna put the garage into walk test because we're gonna test. Um, we did that optical last time, but we're gonna do the multi sensor and the core point. We'll just pop into walk test. And I'm gonna test our zones. Uh, let's do it with sounders. And. Uh, that's where the expand optical and um, bases in the utility kitchen area, but in reality it will be just utility room, um, unless we get another one, but that's uh, that zone. So we want to test the garage, so put that in test mode. Oh, that is reactivated. Yeah, that's jumping up and down. Uh, right. We're gonna leave that in alarm so that doesn't do that. Right, let's. Uh, this cool point hasn't been tested before, so may as well do it. So. Are the sounds gonna resound, or is it just gonna? point and are you gonna respond or no um, right, let's just try that I'm gonna disable the sounder so it don't make so much noise let's just reset let's test 
take that out test and I'm just going to disable all the sounders so that really hope this is not one of those multi-sensors that just don't work this is a discovery one but um all the polling is currently switched off at the minute so oh there we go and that's the pre-delay oh no it's in pre-alarm my bad garage rear multi-point will that go into full alarm I have to check this multi sensor over because uh, I had issues with dirt in this. Although it was not dirty, it's all on the inside. Um, but I've always had issues where multi sensors, well, the panel says that all my multi sensors are dirty, but this one seems to be working okay ish. Probably the heat element will probably work better, but. Oh, okay. I have used quite a lot of smoke saver, so I'm a bit suspicious on why this is not. Not, not activating at all. Done it again. All right, let's see if it will do its thing now. So no sounders will activate at this point. You can see how small gear. There we go. That was a lot of smoke that took it to go off. All it does prevent, although it doesn't matter if it re-triggers, we'll just prevent it from resetting off again. Also, it's fairly cold down here, so it might be a bit iffy with the multi-sensor. Yeah, it is in mode 3, so I mean, it should still be more sensitive than that. It's not like it's in mode 4 or 5 or anything. Although that's not how they work, but yeah. Um, anyways, I'm going to conclude this test. So thank you guys so much for watching. And also I for, forgot to say as well, thank you everyone for 800 subscribers as well. That's well appreciated. There'll be probably a bigger um, celebration when we get to a thousand. Um, but yeah, I appreciate that. We're still on the running ground for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and bye bye.